If we're thinking about progress, we have to think about it in terms of the real things that matter to real people. So the social progress index data shows us very clearly is that the countries that put people at the centre of their development process are also the ones doing best in terms of tackling climate change. So inclusive and sustainable development go hand in hand. GDP is a measure of how much an economy produces. It was developed in the 1930s to pull us out of the Great Depression, and it worked. The, the problem with GDP is it ignores a whole bunch of things. It has nothing to say about fairness. It has nothing to say about community or happiness. And it is completely blind to the issue of sustainability. What the Social Progress Index does is put the real things that matter to real people into the center of the conversation. Do I have enough to eat? Do my kids get a good education? Am I discriminated against? All these different factors into one measure of what makes a good society. We know that more GDP means more greenhouse gas emissions. So if our model for our world is based on more GDP alone, then we're just marching towards a climate disaster to the drumbeat of GDP. If the choice that we face at COP26 is between the economy and a climate disaster, we know the outcome is going to be bad. But if we think in terms of putting people at the centre of the equation, social progress index at the centre of the equation, what we'll see is there's a win-win where people and planet can both do well. What we see is that the countries that are best at producing social progress also produce some of the lowest levels of greenhouse gas emissions. Countries like Sweden, like Costa Rica and Ghana. In terms of the countries that are doing the worst job in producing the most greenhouse gas emissions per unit of social progress, it tends to be higher income countries like Australia, United States and Qatar. By looking at the best performers like Sweden and Costa Rica and Ghana, it shows us what is possible. A sustainable world of high social progress is possible. It's our choice whether we get there or not. Decision makers must base their choices on things that go beyond simple financial metrics. If we're going to avert a climate disaster, we need to measure the success of our societies in terms of the real things that matter to real people. The Social Progress Index puts the real things that matter to real people at the centre of the COP26 debate. And what we see then is if we put people and planet together, they can live in harmony. To find out more about the Social Progress Index and to see this year's results, go to socialprogress.org.